Does anybody have any, does anybody have any dumb friends? I'm talking like real dumb. Nice. She's over there. Don't let her know this. Like dumb friends. Like I'm talking like so dumb that the only job they could have would be to be a drug dealer. Like they're a drug dealer not because they're passionate about drugs or they're interested in the drug trade, but just that's how dumb they are. That's the only job they could get. Like McDonald's was too much. Like I'm trying to say is like, they couldn't pass the Walmart greeter interview. What I'm trying to tell you is my friend is so stupid that the only job he could have is a drug dealer it is Christian. Because the only way that someone could put up with them for a business transaction was if they were physically and mentally addicted to a substance. So the only job they could have would be a drug dealer. Or a Starbucks barista. I could say that. I used to be a Starbucks barista. I also used to be a drug dealer. Uh, but it's true. There's no difference between a crackhead and a middle-aged person trying to get their girl juice in the morning. It's ridiculous. I worked at a really, really busy Starbucks. Like, next to the freeway, always busy. And the worst people were the locals, the regulars. They'd walk in the door on a random morning, and you'd see, they'd be like, oh, they see the line like, what the, ha, Dave. No need for labels like that. This is a family establishment. We sell them with crack. Ah, they, they, you see the addiction in their lives. They're waiting in line. There's 20 people deep, and they're just like, ah, they look like a crackhead on the street. There's no difference. When you hear it, you're just like, ah, come on, man. Let me skip that line. I'll suck your dick. Ew! No, Dave. I wouldn't even do that for Lindsay. And she looks like Gal Gadot. You look like a fucking troll. You look like a 50-year-old Robin Williams. You look like a 45-year-old Pablo Escobar. Oh, no! Get the fuck out of here. They make it up a couple feet in the line. They're like 12 people back. And again, they feel like they have to, they have to let you know. These crazy crackheads. <sighs> I'm late for work, let's go. Everyone looks at him. And then they all look at me. Because they've all deputized me now to put him in his fucking place. So I'm like... So, yeah, Dave, it's, it's fucking 7.50 a.m. on a Tuesday. Everyone's trying to go to work. You're not special. Then I, I had a little extra on because I'm an asshole. And I'd be like, listen, Dave, you're not a brain surgeon. You're not a firefighter. You sell shitty condos with paper thin walls. Your job really doesn't have emergencies. Okay? You need to go in early to clean the jizz off the carpet before your first showing. Not really a priority. Okay, so can you hang back a second? I'm trying to make this lady's mocha frappuccino with extra brownie and seven shots of espresso. Here you go, man. Enjoy shitting yourself on your way to work this morning. <laughs> uh, we would definitely underserve you at Starbucks. If we thought if we thought that your order was going to kill you, we didn't give you that order. Because in the drug game, that's called an overdose. And you don't get repeat business from overdoses. So if like you waddled in, or if like you pulled up the drive-thru out of breath because you were driving through a drive-thru, and you asked for seven extra shots of espresso, maybe we give you two. But the other five, decaf. I'm not even trying to kill anybody. It'd be cool. It'd be cool if you could do that at a regular bar. Like, we have alcohol-free beer. 
Like, why isn't there alcohol-free, like, tequila, rum, whiskey, vodka, gin? Why isn't that a thing? You know, for when that person comes up that you know you're gonna have to refuse to serve them, but they're also the person that you know when you say no, they're gonna burn the place to the fucking ground. And then they ask you, you're like, yeah, sure, no problem. It looks, tastes, smells just like uh, regular alcohol, but like it's just like caffeine and electrolytes. Like you're just helping everybody out at that point. <sighs> you fuck with your friends, your buddy comes in, and he's like, Hey man, I got that uh, first date with a hot girl from the office, Jessica. I need two shots to keep the take that job. <laughs> Over here. There you go, man. Do you the fake shit? It's caffeine and fucking electrolytes. I didn't take away your from your edge, I added to it. You yeah. show that name. Hey Jessica, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm really excited for our date. You wanna do some Johnny Jacks? No? Alright, cool. We're going to the front. Let's race. Let's race. We'll race to the restaurant. Let's go. 